particular comet of the century. Comet Hale-Bopp is hurtling through the inner solar system, a flying mountain of ice 40 miles across. As it approaches the sun, it should get brighter and brighter. Astronomers all over Britain are preparing to observe what's been called the Comet of the Century. Since it was discovered almost two years ago, astronomers have been looking forward to Comet Hale-Bopp, and it shows no sign of disappointing them. You get a very good view with the naked eye, and people in the London area were seeing it last night at about 7 o'clock or half past, just as it sets into the western sky. And uh, it's, it's actually quite bright. It's one of the brightest objects in the sky. This is what the comet looks like now to the unaided eye, high in the eastern sky just before dawn. It's now possible to see it in the evening sky. No charts are needed. It's obvious. Over the next few weeks, it'll get brighter and easier to see. The comet has been racing past the planets, approaching the Earth from deep space, a visitor from the cold, dark outer reaches of the solar system. Even seen from hundreds of millions of miles away, it was very bright for its distance. Since then, it's got steadily brighter. It's a lovely object to see, and the, and the fact that everybody can see it so easily, the fact that it is just the brightest thing in the sky and is more or less completely unmistakable, means that the public are really enjoying it. These are the latest pictures of the comet as it develops its spectacular tale of gas and dust. Millions will soon see this rare and beautiful sight, the brightest comet to be seen in our lifetimes. David Whitehouse, BBC News.